Now these are the globe green artichokes. And I started these all at, from seed at the same time. I had 21 that came up. That right there is my worst one as far as size and growth. And this is my best one. I put these a couple of months back into these um, five gallon buckets and put those into the cans and they seem to be constricted by whatever you put them into. And today I've started more make this my artichoke field. I think there's 13 in the cans. I put two, I've dug the holes for two of them. They're not, what I originally had is not going to work out. I'm going to have to shuffle them out. And, because they will go, from what I've read, five to six feet around when they're fully grown. And about that tall. So they need the space. So I'm going to dig at least, um, put at least six feet between them. And hopefully we get to the point in another couple of years we don't have to mow this area at all. But I'm excited. Some of these have gotten pretty good size in the uh, cans. But I think once they get into the ground they're going to overtake the ones in the five gallon bucket. But I'll have to keep these watered manually until I set up a watering system. and the poison ivy patch, poison oak patch. I still have to pull them out and bag them up. I wish I could just burn that whole area, but do not ever, ever burn poison ivy or poison oak because you can breathe it in and you will end up in the ER. You, you don't want it in your lungs. Those, that oil will travel in the smoke, in the air, and you don't want to do that to your neighbors or any animals. That is just um, torturous and, and a cruel, cruel thing to do to yourself or anyone else. But the salt has worked. 